welcome once again to another fantastic edition of Atomic Tutorials. My name is Dr. Wasabi, and in today's episode we are making the biplane found in Fallout 76. This is a medium-sized build, I would say, and it's great for any large aircraft hangars or anywhere you'd want to really put a plane. Uh, but it's not that big, but it isn't that small, if that makes sense. <laughs> so in the map, in the game itself, you'll find this all across Appalachia. You'll find it crashed in the forest, bits of it in garages. It's really a great thing to fill up your um, air hangar with, in my opinion. So there we go. We are baking the, uh, not baking, making the aircraft, well, the biplane from Fallout 76. Uh, for this build, you'll need a variety of items. Um, most of them are evenly spread out in terms of block amount, so I wouldn't really worry about getting more than one uh, a block for each of them. Um, obviously not one block, but you, you get what I mean. Um, a good collection of all, I would say. So, for this build, you will need quartz slabs, white concrete, white stained glass panes, white stained glass, grindstones, glass furnaces, grey banners, Grey carpet, black wool, blue terracotta, light blue terracotta, prismarine walls, light blue stained glass panes, yellow concrete, birch wood slabs, sandstone walls, birch fence gates, lecterns, levers, red narrow brick slabs, smooth stone slabs, anvils, red concrete, river skeleton skulls, and buttons, stone buttons to be. Uh, precise. <laughs> so there we go, the block palette for the Fallout 76 biplane. So I think without further ado, let's get on with our time lapse.
and we are back from our time lapse folks now before i show you anything anything at all i just want to say if you do like what i do if you like my content then please like this video and subscribe to my channel doing so helps spread my channel amongst a blessed youtube algorithm and of course it helps spread my content to you amazing just fantastic people now Let's see what we made here. Uh, small note that I want to mention to you folks. During the build, I made a slight error on the side of this wing here, where instead of placing the block here, as I should have, I placed it here. Again, apologies, I was making, trying to go for like a wonky wing um, kind of design, but since this is more of a pre-war build that I'm going for, I decided to change it last minute. Again, if you like the, the fact that it's slightly wonky, you can keep it. If not, it's just a matter of moving the uh, block back one block. So there we go. Overall, I think this we, this went uh, quite well. I usually have some difficulty with the more aerodynamic builds, <laughs> uh, so to speak, with aircraft and things like that. But I think this went out really well. I especially like the uh, propeller blade. This is something we don't really see in Fallout, uh, apart from a few, well, builds like this um like the biplane in Fallout 76 i'm trying to think of any other instances nothing coming to mind but again that's the thing of fallout uh, there's plenty of secrets to explore and uh, well adventures to be had <laughs> so over here we have a flying version of the biplane um i replaced the wheels with polished deep slate slabs just to indicate that they've been folded up i have a variant over here which is very similar to the variants in the game um the ones i could find were a green one it wasn't an army variant it was just like a green paint job and a yellow and orange paint job but this one i used mangrove slabs in addition with yellow and red sandstone walls and for the green one, I used wart slabs and green terracotta, as well as a nice mossy cobblestone wall pairing. I tried to not make this too similar to the army paint jobs I do in my atomic tutorials. Uh, a bit of a variation, uh, but I think it works well. So, there we go, folks. The biplane from Fallout 76. I'm so glad you came down to watch this tutorial. It really just melts my heart that you just come over here to watch my stuff. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. My name has been Dr. Wasabi. I would, I, well, I, I bid you a most pleasant good evening. And of course, as always, God bless. And now, folks, it is time to say good night. We sincerely appreciate your viewing and hope we've succeeded in providing you with an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Stay happy and come back again soon. Good night.